What's up, guys? This is Sim with Vengeance, and I'm back here with another NCAA Football 14 UAB Blazers Dynasty. And today, your number two UAB Blazers are at home taking on the three and one Vanderbilt Commodores. If you guys are excited for today's video, make sure you guys drop a like, and if you're new to the channel at all, hit that subscribe button down below. And I have some news re regarding the channel. Um, I will be doing green screen content at certain points of these videos from now on. So a little bit of an update on the Arkansas State Dynasty. Before I got the screen screen set up, I already had all the, the rest of the season recorded. Uh, I just had to edit it and render it through. I still have a few of the Lions franchise videos that I have yet to do. So you're going to see green screen content like every UAB video from here on out. Uh, after season one of Arkansas State, then you'll see green screen content. And for the playoffs on in the Lions franchise, you'll see green screen content. And if you guys don't know what I mean by green screen content, uh, so pretty much what the green screen is, is me sitting in front of a camera with the gameplay sitting right behind me. No, like, background behind me. It's the game footage. I can do that now. I don't know if you guys are aware, aware of what a green screen is. Some people do, some people don't. It really depends who you talk to. But... The, the quality of the videos will certainly upgrade and I'm doing I'm going to be doing a lot more live commentaries from now on that was kind of the whole goal of me trying to be a youtuber but now I, I'm gonna add some I'm gonna add a little bit of touches so the content may change in your eyes a little bit so and that's okay you, you know changes change is good and it can be also very bad but I feel like this is gonna be a really good change I think you guys will really like the live commentary so be prepared for it I cannot wait to bring it to you guys. It's going to be awesome. And honestly, I cannot wait. Um, so you'll see, you'll still hear the post commentary in some videos from here on out, but it'll be a full while before we fully implement the green screen in every single video. But nonetheless, I do hope uh, you guys are enjoying this uh, while it's here. Um, you guys seem to be enjoying it, of course. Like I said, you guys drive the channel. You guys help me improve my content by showing that support and all that stuff. But anyway, we're going to get on with this game. I'm going to be done rambling about this. You guys have been amazing. And I know you guys have been seeing all like the the, st the stats, the records, and all that stuff. And the Heisman race even. Justin Kelly's still in second place, but we're going to try and boost it up a little bit. But nonetheless, we're going to get ready for kickoff here in UAB against Vanderbilt. Let's see if we can jump up to the number one spot with a good win today. Hi everybody, Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Blazers are really hitting their stride. Look, I know they have a winning streak going, but more importantly, they're starting to play at a very high level. The expectations are going to rise. They'll try to make sure their performance does the same. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. It's great, great, great. here at Legion Field at UAB Stadium and we are ready to take on the unranked Vanderbilt Commodores we are number two in the country and but Vanderbilt's no scrub they, they got they've improved they have definitely improved in this dynasty and you're gonna see it here in this game I, I'm telling you right now this is not gonna be a cakewalk game look at even on the opening kickoff Daniel Alexander could not get much running room as soon as he got the, as soon as one guy got free to get a hit on him, it was, yeah, we're still stuck behind the 20. We're even stuck behind the 15 here on second and 10. Justin Kelly in the shotgun. Looks to his right, fires over to Brian Green, and it's a first down at the 30. 14 or 16-yard pickup. And, you know, Brian Green, he's got 13 catches for 149 yards this season. Hasn't had the greatest year. Most receivers could do that in a game or in a couple games. But, you know, here's Brian Green just doing his own thing. This is through, 
you know, five games, six, or, yeah, this is game number five of the season. So, um, you know, if we win here, or actually if we win next week, then we're bowl eligible, I think. I'll have to take a look. Yeah, actually, I think if we win this game, we're bowl eligible. But, uh, I don't know. We'll have to, I'll, I'll have to remember, but you'll have to look at it. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think we are bowl eligible. I think we're going to be 6-0 with a win today if we do win anyway. But here on third and eight, Kelly looks over left side. It's going to be dropped by Thurman Knox. Not really the sharpest drive there by Justin Kelly in that first drive. So we have to punt the football, or actually we're going to kick the field goal. The long field goal attempt here from Adam Green from 54 yards away. And it's good. Beautiful kick right down the middle. It's usually a 50-50 shot from there, but we got it. So first and 10 here for Vanderbilt. Oliver dropping back to pass. Looks over the middle to Clark and gets it down to the 40-yard line. So now second and 12 at the 38 after they got a uh, loss of two yards on the run game. Now they drop back lone gunner back there. And Oliver taking off running past midfield to the 40 to the 35 down to the 34-yard line in UAB territory. Good drive so far for UAB, or the, for the Vanderbilt Conservators here. The defense for UAB has been lackluster. You see Bozeman up the middle. Bulldozes over Terrence Savoy and gets another first down for Vanderbilt. Second and five. Power, uh, uh, power set formation here for Vanderbilt. They're going to hand the football off again. Left side has some running room. Oh, he sheds a tackler and down inside the 10. So first in goal. Now third and goal. Let's see if they can finish this one off with a touchdown, even though they're back at the 21 after a penalty and a sack. Here is Oliver dropping back to pass. Has some time. Steps to his right. Throws. Caught at the one, and they're going to go for it here on fourth down. Let's see if they do it. Well, I was sending the blitz, but, oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. We got fooled. I thought they were coming straight at us. They went left, and they scored. So, 7-3 Vanderbilt. Just like that. We're still in the first quarter, though. No worries. We got plenty of time. Kelly dropping back. Thurman Knox catch first down. No worries. Just keep the ball moving. That's all we got to do. Second down and eight. Here is the run right up the middle with Aaron Hicks. Right side, bounces it out. He has some power behind him as well. Gets a first down, nine-yard pickup. I like it, man. This is what I love about Aaron Hicks. He's so good. So Kelly dropping back. Looks left side, caught by Will Davis. Down to pass midfield at the 44-yard line. So we're going to hurry up here at the, later on in the drive. It's second and one. And here's Kelly. With the read option, going to hand it off, and he gets the first down by just the exact amount of yardage. That's all. That's okay, though. You know, Aaron Hicks just doing his thing. Kelly dropping back, scrambling to his right. Look at that a giant gaping hole, free run into the end zone for Justin Kelly. It's now 10-7. Later on, it's third and eight for Vanderbilt. Let's see if we can make a stop. Andy Payne coming in, trying to get that sack, but he doesn't get there. But doesn't matter anyway the defense is coming up big we make the stop we force the incompletion but why am i showing the punt sin never shows a punt unless something happens question mark well usually it's been bad let's see if that trend continues alexander from the 13 yard line finds some running room to the left side all he has left to beat is the punter and daniel alexander is g-o-n-e gone touchdown off the punt return. Oh my lord. I've never done that in this game. I'll be brutally honest. I was like, oh my god. Oh my god. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And then as soon as I passed the punter, I was just jumping up and down like a little schoolgirl. Lonnie Oliver, though, he's been a pain in my side, though. As soon as that punt return was over, I knew I had to get back down. I, I knew that run put me back down to the earth. So I had to clamp down on defense. So, well, so I would like to think. But Lonnie Oliver has been a tough guy to stop. You see right there, I hate it. I hate quarterbacks who He's act like fullbacks in this game. Touchdown. Lonnie Oliver, 48-yard touchdown run. He broke like five tackles to get there. So that's far, ridiculous. That's that's, that's NCAA be, for you though. You gotta break the cheese somehow. You see Aaron Hicks, four-yard pickup, first down. I'm a strategist. You feel me? I like to, I like to wear down my opponent with my brain instead of just pure brawn. Because sometimes power wears out after a while. You dump it down underneath, dink and dunk to Aaron Hicks, and he picks up the yak he needs to get the first down. So, 25 yards there. Third down and one. Kelly dropping back over the middle underneath. It's Jay Henderson, and that's a late hit, but they don't call that crap. So, it's 24-14 here. There's a lot of scoring going on here in the second quarter. It's crazy. 
So let's see if this trend continues. Third and two here. They're going to hand the football off to Cook, and he gets the first down for a pickup of six. And we'll see what they do. Man, They're, they've been pretty hot on offense in this entire half. So th second and 16 here from the 32-yard line. Oliver dropping back. Throws it deep. It's caught by Clark, and he is gone. Touchdown, Vanderbilt. 24-21. I'm, I'm thinking to myself, boy, I, these guys, man, these guys are driving me nuts. And I, I hate it when they just keep it close by the big plays. It drives me insane. You know, don't get beat deep or don't get burned by the big play. Uh, you, you know, stuff like that just drives me nuts. You know, but we're going to keep fighting. We're going to keep playing. Kelly dropping back. Looks over James Hester Jr. First down and goal. I like it. 30 seconds left in the half. We still got plenty of time left to score. 17, 16, still plenty of time. Kelly scrambling, trying to find somebody. He's going to take it himself. Just take it himself. Touchdown. UAB, 31-21 at the half. So now we begin the second half. Second and two here. There's a lot of scoring in that second quarter. So are they going to? is this trend going to continue? Well, so far it looks like it. Uh, Taylor Lane, 17-yard reception, first down. Second and 10. 5.20 left to go here in the third quarter. See if they continue this trend. Let's see. Oliver dropping back. Has some room. Oh, he squeezed through the hole. I don't know how he's doing it, but somebody got to stop this man before he goes on a t Johnny Manziel tirade. So uh, first and 10 here. They're going to hand it off to Bozeman. Their run game has just been absolutely tearing it up. And that's what's driving me even more insane because I'm really good at stopping the run. Just not this game. It, it must. Be, it has to be one of those games where it's just like, okay, just nothing's working today. And they get another touchdown right here, making it 31-28. Lonnie Oliver has been tearing me apart. So has Jason Bozeman. So has uh, Clark. Just a lot of these Vanderbilt players are just tearing my defense apart. But so are we. We're doing. We're tearing apart their defense too. This is pretty much like the game. I the game I really hate to play. These are the games I really hate to play. And you got to understand my logic when I say this. I hate high scoring games. And maybe this is me playing, you know, you know, growing up in an, uh, in a football era where defense reigns. Um, but I do not like high scoring games. It's, it's very teetering. The momentum just keeps on shifting and stuff like that. You just never know what is exactly going to happen and it's scary to think like that but that's how I feel when these games go back and forth like this there's a lot of scoring going on even though we have a two score lead and I feel comfortable at this point but when it's down to three I get a little weary I get a little bit more uppity if you know what I mean but you see right here Jason Bozeman on the screen pass even gets it down inside the red zone or near the red zone down to the 21 yard line so now they're gonna hit, run it again and we cannot stop these guys. We can't. It's it's giving it's putting me on the edge of my seat. I'm getting very anxious right now. I'm getting a little bit of anxiety. You know, you gotta feel me on this. You understand exactly exactly what I'm going through. You, you you know I don't like these games. I like it when they're low scoring or, you know, you know because if they're low scoring, I know that I can make a stop. And on defense and on offense, I'm not I'm not worried so much about offense as I am defense. You know, because defense is very, yeah, it, it's really just, it's good. My defense is usually good, but just not this game. But we go, we're going to go for it on fourth down. You know what? We're going to go for it. Kelly scrambling to his right. Finds Brian Green over the middle as the pressure's just coming in hot. And we get the first down. So still a three-point lead, third and forever. Kelly scrambling to his right, trying to find somebody. Doesn't even get the completion. I know he would have got the fourth down, but it would have been a field position battle at that point. And that's pretty much what I was aiming for on third and 19. Just to get a completion so we don't have to be so far pinned back. But let's see if our defense can make a stop. Lundy on, makes the stop right there. Thank goodness. So we make the stop for once on third down. So that's a sigh of relief. So second and two handed off. Aaron Hicks up the middle. First down. Seven yard pickup. I like it. 13 carries, 69 yards. It makes me breathe a little bit. Just breathe, Sin. Breathe. Breathe. Second and one. Hand off. Aaron Hicks. Right side. Gets the first down. Seven yards. Keeps the chains moving. It's my heart. 
my heart can't take this man just can't take it my heart can't take it so you know we gotta we gotta get this one in the end zone it, it, it has to be done so kelly scrambling gets this one in touchdown again 45 to 35 this is absolutely absurd remember that game against alabama where we hit where we, it was like a uh, 105 points between both teams it was 54 51 granted i think it went to a couple overtimes but still, you get the feeling that Less than three minutes this game get, has me sick to my stomach. Third and eight. Oliver looking deep, and he gets the completion again. I don't know how they're doing this. David Clark, third touchdown of the game. 45-42. This is ridiculous. Kelly scrambling to his right, gets it off, almost intercepted. Oh, man. Now we got to give the ball back to Vanderbilt. Two minutes to go. We haven't been able to make many stops this game. Let's see if the defense can come up clutch. Well, they don't start it off right here with this 14-yard completion. So first and 10 again, past midfield now. Let's see if we can make another stop, or at least try and make it slow them down. Well, that's not going to help either because this quarterback's playing like a fullback right now and uh, taking hits like a champion and just bouncing right off of him. But first and 10 again. Let's see. It's getting really, really... Uh, the place is like freaking out. But it's intercepted by Patrick! And oh my goodness! With the shoelace tackle, that that's pretty much going to be the end of it. Kelly, I, I, I'm, I'm a little irritated by the fact that Vanderbilt kept it this close. So just for point differential and Kel Justin Kelly's Heisman vote, I wanted him to get another touchdown. So we got one in there. So he got like, I think, six total touchdowns this game. He did. Four on the ground, two in the air. 276 yards passing, 31 yards carrying. The ball, nine carries, 31 yards. Player of the game, of course. It's Justin freaking Kelly. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like. And if you're new to the channel at all, hit the subscribe button. And I, we're almost to 9,000, guys. We're going to get, I, I feel it. We're going to get to 10,000 this year. That's the goal. 10,000 subscribers by, I'm think, I'm hope late, like late spring. That would be amazing. Um, but you guys have been so supportive, so amazing. And I cannot wait to bring you guys more content in the future. So drop a like, hit that subscribe button if you're new. And, you know, watch all the other content I have on my channel. I have other another NCAA series and a an, an Madden series that I'm doing. So check those out. But until next time, my name is Tim with Vengeance. You guys have been amazing as always. I'm out.